All right, guys, those of you who have a 10th gen Honda Civic, um, upgrading the charge wire on these is a task. So what I had to do, I had to take off, of course, the factory one and figure out what size the post was down there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. But uh, I had to grind down the one aught lug or ring terminal in order to fit within the plastic insulation of the terminal. I also had to reverse the ring terminal of the factory wire and put it against the terminal first so that the one knot would fit flush against it and then I could tighten it down with the little nut but it is a pain guys oh my gosh I'm sure one of my arms is cut up a little bit nothing crazy I'll live yeah we were in dire need of some sky high OFC one knot I also did the vertical side post adapter on the new Concepts Ultimate Battery Connector here. I really like these. Uh, they allow you to add accessories to a car like this and keep your factory harness. Uh, I first saw this, of course, on uh, Mark's Fab Kitchen car audio fabrication I do thank him because these things are not that much money and they just reduce a lot of headaches yeah I like it there's your vertical side post top post whatever adapter just fits right on the side kind of hard to see there but it's it's right there pretty cool I'm excited. I got uh, kind of the big three here going on. I went ahead. So I kept this factory ground just for the heck of it. It wasn't really harming anything. So then I added another one from the negative battery terminal over here to the shock tower. And I also measured the voltage at this point without a cable on it just to see if it was the same and it come out good. I was gonna run another ground directly to the alternators bracket, but I don't think it's gonna be necessary, not for my setup. So anyway, hope this helps guys. Be patient, you will overcome. More to come, stay tuned.